This series has been dedicated for a refuah shalema for Yus Behendel Bas Gitaleya, the Toch Shar Choli Yisrael, together with all the other Jews that need refuahs and Yeshuas. Hashem is the one who is providing for all of us. We were told that as a result of Adam and Chava eating from the Eitz Hadas, Hashem issued 39 curses at the time, 10 to Adam Arishon, 10 to Chava, 10 to the snake, and 9 to the earth. And Hashem said at that time that there are certain things that are going to come difficult. One of them is earning a livelihood, be'itzavon tochalena. The other one is a woman bringing a child into the world, be'etzev teldi bonim, that the process of bringing children into the world will also be a difficult one. Which is more difficult? We're not going to ask the ladies this question. We're going to quote the Torah, the Torah tells us that a woman, in order for her to give birth, in order for her to bring a child into the world, has to cry out 70 cries. This is the term that's used in the Zohar Kodesh, shivim koilo, shivim tsaokois, corresponding to a chapter in Tehillim, chapter 20 in Tehillim, yancho Hashem beyom tsoro yisagev choshem elehe Yaakov, and the Sifrei Kabbalah, show us the direct connection, the correspondence, why it's 70, why it's these cries. But we know that women in pregnancy and especially in childbirth, there's the moaning and the groaning and the crying out that that is a necessity. The Zohar HaKadosh says a child cannot be born without these shivim koilois. And if if a woman says, what are you talking about? I gave birth. I can give you a recording of what took place in the room. I didn't even cry out 12 times. It was only 11 times. The answer is it doesn't necessarily have to be something that we hear, and it doesn't even have to be something that the woman is conscious of or feels. But it's something that we're told, the Torah tells us, that this takes place, this is a necessity in order to bring a child into the world. In order to bring money into the world, in a kosher way, healthy money, money that's a blessing, because again, there's two types of money. There's category A and category B. There's a type of money where the Torah says, Birkas Hashem hi tashir, the blessing of Hashem is wealth, velo yosev otsev ima. And there will be no depression and no unhappiness associated with it. That's one type of money. And then there's the type B that we mentioned before, which is mar ben achosim, mar bedaiga, where the Torah says the more a person has, the more worries, the more unhappiness. And we're going to see that we have the ability to choose. We mentioned before that a woman giving birth cries out these 70 screams, Rabbi Nachman writes that money, bringing kosher money into the world, requires 140 screams, double that. There's a pasuk, there's a Gemara that says, Kalani meiroishi, Kalani mizroi. I'm I'm in pain from my head and I'm in pain from my arm. And the Gemara interprets that several different ways, referring to tefillin. Rabbi Nachman says, Kalani miloshin koil that there's, there's a double coil, the cries of a woman giving birth, there's double that in order to bring kosher money into the world. The Hebrew word mamoin, mem, mem, vav, nun, has a numerical value of 136. With the four letters, it equals 140. And Rabbi Nachman says it requires these 140 screams to be able to bring kosher money into the world. What do we mean by the screams? It means a person turning to Hashem and making it perfectly clear that I'm relying on you. I'm relying only on you. The fact that I go to work is because the Torah says we're fulfilling an edict in the Torah. But it's not that I have any thought that I'm doing it. It's my idea. There's an effort. Hashem wants a person to put an effort, a certain effort, but to know that the ideas, the concepts, who I'm going to meet, who I'm not going to meet, the deals that I'm going to close, the deals that I'm not going to close, it's in Hashem's hands. It's only in Hashem's hands.